Hello everyone. So today I just want to sit here and chat with you all and just share with you how I do my homeschool planning, how I plan for the year, how I do my yearly, my weekly, and my daily planning for my homeschool. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure you stick around and subscribe to the notification bell so you don't miss any of my homeschooling videos. So I like I want to share with you how I do my planning. Okay, not because I you need to do the planning the way I do it. it everybody's so different, but just to give you ideas, especially if you're a new homeschool parent. And I have both of my children have uh, you know disabilities, so I plan a different a, a little bit different. Uh, that most that most people I, I so I just want to share how I do it so you can so you can get an idea if you need some help with your planning uh, I know everybody probably you have already started or maybe you haven't started yet some people start in September so I just want to give you a quick overview of what we are doing so I'm going to start by showing you how I do my yearly planning which is really really simple I usually we keep a a school calendar year, just like you know, the public school, we usually start in August and end at the end of May, beginning of June, but usually the end of May. So one of the things that I do, I print out a calendar. I found this calendar in calendarpedia.com, and I just print out a school calendar for the year, an academic one, so from August all the way to July, and I, I just look at them at the at the calendar and I mark the days that I know we are going to be out of school. So I have an idea of how many weeks of school we have. And I already have to make some changes here because we canceled and we added some things. But anyway, so that that's what I do. I take a calendar and I mark the days that I'm going to be that we're going to be doing school, the day that we're starting, the day that I plan to finish, and the days that I know we're going to be going on a trip, or I know we're going to be taking a vacation, or we're going, you know, for Christmas and Thanksgiving, all those things. I mark them in the calendar. Of course, we probably take more days off, but those are the days that I know for sure we are going to be not doing school, okay, or not doing uh, academics, you know, we're always doing something. So that's how I do it for my yearly plan. That's how I plan, and I, you know, my, my all-around homeschool. And then I go to plan. I am more of a weekly planner. I plan by the week. This year, um, I'm going to start with my daughter. So this year, I decided to do some type of blog scheduling for her. So I took the year and I separated. So I looked at the calendar and I separated the year into six weeks, you know, uh, periods. And that's where it is going to be kind of our, of our blog for, for, for terms. So I'm going to show you here my calendar that I have. So block schedule for 2022, 2023. And I put everything, I decided to take six weeks to do one thing and take other six weeks, you know, and then we're going to alternate. My thought process is that is I want to be able to take more time doing one thing for six weeks instead of going back and forth, do this one day, do this the other. And I feel we cannot you know, concentrate as much and things get, you know, so we're trying, this is the first time we're trying this. So we started, you know, so I'm going to show you really quick what, what our block schedule will look like. So we have, you know, term one all the way to six, and this is separated into six weeks of work. And, uh, for like for English, I decided to do literature and grammar for the first six weeks, just literature and grammar. And then for the next six weeks for term two, we're going to do literature and writing, we, we, we're gonna be doing um, um, seven sisters homeschool writing. And then term three, we'll go again to grammar, term four again to writing, term five again to you know grammar and writing like that. Of course, math is gonna be all year. Uh, we're doing American history this year and forensic science. So six weeks, we're gonna start, we already started American history. And then for the other six weeks, we're gonna do um, forensic science, American history, forensic science. So we can take the time to concentrate a little bit more and do more lessons throughout the week um, because of attention issues and just the, the, you know, my daughter tires very easily when it, when it has to do with school. So I don't want to have to do science every day and history every day and writing every day and grammar every day because I know that can be very frustrating for her. So I decided this year we are going to do a different we're trying to block schedule. 
just literature and grammar, literature and grammar, and then we're going to do literature and writing, which is good because she can use those things that she learned in her grammar to use in her writing. So, so that's what I do for my block schedule. So I'm going to, each term, I already, I, I did a calendar for, you know, the term one from August 8th to the 21st of September. And what, what we, we are going to be doing. And I added in there, you know, the different things that, that she does, which I'm going to be talking about in a second for a weekly. So that's, that's how we do it. Uh, she does, we, during the week, she does do farm work, which I already, you know, I talked before, Mondays and Tuesdays. I think I, I'm going to change the schedule there a little bit because two days in the morning is a lot for her to be out of the house without doing school. But I added that, you know, to our, our term work. For right now, she goes to the farm, you know, in the mornings and in the afternoon, Mondays and Tuesdays. So that's, you know, in my, in my calendar. This is more for me to have there. So this is what it's going to look like, you know, and we usually start our day. This is kind of my our daily schedule with her. Uh, if it's a day that she's at home and she doesn't have farm, we usually start a day with our read aloud. I still do read alouds with her. We'll do our read aloud and then we're going to be working on our grammar and then we'll do our, our history. And then we're going to be adding um, uh, foundations of interpersonal you know, finance, you know, Dave Ramsey. So we'll add that in and Spanish and math, she, she can do on her own. So she probably do that at the end of the day because she, you know, she can do the math lessons on her own. So, because she, she does them on the computer. So that's kind of how, how our day looks like. Sometimes we might do some, you know, we, we don't follow really strict schedule, but those are the things that we're doing every day. Okay. So that's for our daily, weekly work. And that's for my daughter, for my son. So for my son, our school schedule, so last year, I kind of started with him a language arts schedule. Those are the things I need to concentrate the most, I feel, is language arts. Science and social studies, he's in third grade. If we get to it, good. If we don't, good also. And he's pretty good in math. So we're just, you know, talking along in math. But language arts, not the reading part of it, but the writing, he struggles a lot. And so I want to make sure that I... I touch everything for him, you know, throughout the week. So I have a schedule. So this is what his schedule weekly is going to look like. His school schedule was going to look like. Um, so on Mondays, I have a, a schedule here where we have our reading and phonics and grammar and writing. And so on Monday, we're going to do, we're, we're doing a language lesson for living education. So and we're going to do that and a reader. And, and he does expose the code with his ABA, you know, therapist. And then we're going to work on some writing. And I have a video that I did. I will post it about language arts for him this year. So you can see all the resources that we're using. On Tuesdays, we're doing Barefoot University, which is a forest school. So that day, we're not doing any school because it's just going to be, you know, running around. I have to drop my daughter off at the farm. So I think that's going to be prob probably our free day. No school, but we are going to be doing forest school. So, but academics at home then on Wednesdays he's going to do language lessons for living education he's going to do his reader and he's going to do writing Thursday language lesson for living education reader and then explore the code is his therapist and writing and then on Friday we're going to try to do reading games and do some more of that real world writing and just do a lot of games so that's kind of for language arts so I put here a schedule for us of what we're going to be doing every day our school work and ABA schedule he does ABA therapy so Monday is language arts, um, English language arts. So for Monday, we'll look up here what the things that we have to do for language arts. Then we do science, a devotional, and then he has ABA. Sometimes we get a, some work done in the morning and then we finish it with the ABA therapist and I'll sit down with him and, and work with them. Uh, you know, Tuesday, that's our fourth school day. Then we have Wednesday, again, language arts, math, science, devotional, and we're gonna try to be doing a little bit of Spanish. And I need to share with you what we're doing for Spanish very soon. And then for and Thursday, again, language arts, math. We're going to be doing rabbit trails, history, Bible devotional, and ABA. And that ABA, she comes from 9 to 1. So we're, we don't finish between when he's ready to work till 9. Then we finish through our session. And then Friday, uh, English language arts. So we'll look at the calendar up here or the schedule, math games. We, we'll do rabbit trails, uh, you know, devotional. And then we'll do critical thinking. I have, you know, critical thinking book. I might, you know, 
bring that out on Friday, it's not sure yet. But that's how his daily schedule looks like. Uh, after he's done with everything, if he did all his work and he goes to play video games. And I'll share with you in a different video his behavior plan of how I'm working on that so you can you know, see how we incorporate that with our school and with everything else. So that's what our, our weekly plan for him is gonna look like. For my daughter, we have the block schedule. So this is what's gonna look like uh, for now. Um, I'm gonna share again because I don't I didn't share I didn't share with you for, for everything that we're doing. Like for her on Mondays she goes to the farm and then we're gonna try and maybe do uh, if we have time and, and depending on when she gets back from the farm, sometimes she has to stay later. We'll do one American history lesson, maybe do um uh, in Spanish, and we're gonna be doing foundations of finance. Tuesdays, I might have her do one math lesson on her own. Uh, she's going to be at the farm. We're going to be at forest school. I'm not sure when we're going to be tired. So that day she might just either do uh, one or two math lessons on her own and that's it. Then Wednesday we'll do in you know, a literature grammar and then Thursday and Friday the same thing in the morning. Math. Uh, we're going to do two days a week of American history and then two days a week of American of, of you know, government and then Spanish and then uh, personal finance. So that's what that looks like. So that's kind of how the week's going to go for her, the week for my son. We don't do anything together that doesn't work for our family the, the, because of dynamics. And, and she's that a lot older than him, so it's hard to sit and do those units all you know together. That doesn't work in our family. I wish it did, but we, we don't do that. I'll show you for kind of our weekly what I, I have this homeschool lesson planning from you know the school nest this is the one from last year and at the beginning of each week there is a schedule so what I'm, I'm doing here I'm writing everything that we are doing for the week I'm writing it on the cat on on their weekly on their weekly schedule so I put when my daughter's at the farm when he and Lincoln has ABA again when she goes to the farm so all those things are if we're going to the park that week or we have a you know she also has writing lessons on Fridays in the morning for now, but that also is going to change. And a field trip, anything. So I'm going to put it, so I have an idea of what our week is going to look like to see how busy or not busy it's going to be. So that's kind of how I'm going to, you know, do a quick planning of the week in there. So, so yeah, so that, this is how I plan my school year. Very simple. I, once I, this is like the, the, the overview then, you know, when I, for my kids, I don't plan lessons more than a day in advance. I said, I would get up, you know, at night, I said, okay, tomorrow we're gonna do this lesson because we finished lesson two, so today we're gonna do lesson three. I don't put a, a timeline on the lessons, so we do what comes next. We, and for my son, what I've been doing, I've been looking at the schedule. Um, I write things down for him, on a, I've been writing things down for him in a notebook, I, we do, if we do them, whatever we do from the schedule, I've been writing it on here on, and just writing kind of planning from behind, just writing what he did that day. So I do have a plan, but sometimes it will be math, but it might, we might just do one page from lesson five instead of doing the whole lesson five. So I'll write that down in here as my, kind of my plan, my planning from behind, writing what he did that day. So I hope this makes sense. I know I kind of jumped around a little bit, but I hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you post them below. We'll love to, to help and just give you some input or whatever you, you need. If you need any help or anything, please, please let me know. Um, I would love to, I will to help out however I can. So I will see you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next